Ohio. Hey everybody, Nintendo Direct today. Cool, let's try to get through this quickly. Here's my quick thoughts on everything that was shown in today's trailer. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC. It's about time. I heard this was coming and to see all the popular heroes from Dragon Quest be here, it's really exciting. Really hope that we get the older Dragon Quest games and put on the Switch because of this. Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of Elusive Age, Definitive Edition S. Yeah! <laughs> Do we finally have a release date? Sweet. I want to pick this up someday, but there are other games that I want to play first. Luigi's Mansion 3. It was great to see what kind of form this game will take. And to finally see it, it's really exciting, especially to see Luigi go to this hotel with all of the other characters. Hearing Doug Bowser say that it's his most anticipated game makes me want to see this game even more. The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics Okay, I'm all about tactic games, though I'm very beginner at them. The gameplay looks cool. I liked when the archer struck the pillar to crush an enemy, but I cannot do this. This trailer gave me the creeps, so sorry, but not for me. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening this game is so charming! Every time I see Link, it just makes me love him so much more. Originally, I said that I could probably hold off on playing, but the more I look at this, the more I want it. Trials of Mana. This has to be exciting for a lot of people who grew up with Mana. This game never came to the West, right? Nice. Fire Emblem Three Houses. I was already sold on this game, but this trailer moved me emotionally as we've seen the 5 year time skip. It's so good, it's so exciting, I can't wait. It's been 2 years since this game was announced and after a few delays, we're so close. Resident Evil 5 and 6, nice but not for me. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition, nice but not for me. No More Heroes 3. Immediately I saw this and I had a feeling I knew what it was but I wasn't quite sure until I seen the transformation and I'm so hyped for Suda51. He seems like such a cool dude and I really want to try this and his previous No More Hero games. Contra Rogue Corpse. I wasn't too keen on the art style for a series such as Contra but hey, to each their own. Damon X Machina. This game looks like a lot of fun. It has Gundam written all over it, but I probably won't pick this up. Panzer Dragoon. The trailer was a dragon flying, right? I, I'm not familiar with the series, and I guess this is a remake, but it didn't leave an impression on me. Pokemon Sword and Shield. I mean, I was surprised to see it in the direct, but I already know that I'm getting this. So, moving on, <laughs> Astro Change. This game looks amazing. Though I do not have any plans to pick this up right away, I eventually I want to give it a try because it looks fantastic. The world portrayed in this trailer makes me feel like if I don't, I'm going to miss out on something special. Empire of Sin. I really like the aesthetic of old noir films and so this trailer appealed to me, but not as a gamer. <laughs> Cadence of Hyrule I really felt like Nintendo missed an opportunity by not shadow dropping it after the direct. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 Yoshi skateboarding and Karate Peach is something that I never knew I wanted but this trailer was so great for those two things alone. Super cool, super great. Animal Crossing New Horizons The writing was on the wall that this game was going to be delayed so I wasn't heartbroken when it was announced. but. Seeing the world that this trailer presented, this game looks so, so amazing. And with the rest of this year's lineup looking so great, I can't be too heartbroken about the delay, especially since it means that I'm gonna get to play it freshly on my birthday. And it's gonna fall right around, right around the time of spring break. <laughs> so I'll have the time to, to really get into this world. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel tease. 
so happy to see that this is something that they're doing and I'm really happy to see Link and Zelda together. I want this game to make me care about Zelda and the Breath of the Wild world again. Because once I finish the Breath of the Wild story, I lost steam to continue traversing the world. But I'm happy to return any time provided that Nintendo lay out something new worth exploring. And I mean that story wise, because I know that the Breath of the Wild world is humongous and there's so much more to see than I probably have. So now I'm going to talk about the other games that were featured in the Direct, but Nintendo didn't make such a big emphasis on showing them off. So Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order, cool, but not for me. Dead by Daylight, I don't remember this game. Stranger Things 3, The Game, cool, but not for me. Spyro Reignited Trilogy, I love Spyro as a kid and I can't wait to play this. Just Dance 2020, cool, but not for me. New Super Lucky's Tale. I don't remember this game. Minecraft Dungeons. Minecraft looks so different. <laughs> Nino Kuni Remake. Wrath of the White Witch. This is a remake of the original, right? I never got to play it, so I look forward to trying this. Just based on art alone, it looks so, so good. Katan? Kaden? I, I don't remember this. The Sinking City. I don't remember this. Alien Isolation. I don't remember this. Hello Night Silk Song. Cool, but with no release date, I don't really need to think about this right now. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about this, but I don't know anything about it. Dauntless. I don't remember this game. Wolfenstein Youngblood. Cool, but not for me. Doom Eternal. I'm not into first person shooter games. But damn it, I feel like one of these days, I'm going to end up playing Doom. <laughs> and uh, finally, the Elder Scrolls Blades. Cool, but not for me. And then finally, the reveal for Banjo-Kazooie on Smash Brothers. Oh man, God, that trailer was just so fantastic. I was legitimately trolled by the duck cut, and it was so, so gratifying. I never played Banjo Kazooie, but I know that a lot of people are going to appreciate this, so I'm very happy for all of you guys who are finally gonna get Banjo Kazooie in Smash Brothers. Just the same way that I'm happy for everybody who is excited for Dragon Quest coming to Smash Brothers. It just feels natural for both of these characters to be so beloved to be finally included here. Alright, so. I think that that's pretty much everything that was listed on the on the Nintendo Direct. I just went off a website and just typed in everything that was shown on Nintendo's E3 Direct and just kind of try to play it by ear from what I remember. But anyways, if you like me and everything that I'm doing here on Itsumo List List, then why not consider subscribing? I also have a Simpsons podcast that comes out once a week. I'm going through every single episode from starting from season one all the way until I get sick of it. Just type in Save Me Jeebus on Itsumo List List and you'll find it. Also, I have other videos on games and I have some content in Japanese where I'm actually speaking Japanese. So... Those videos are meant to kind of motivate you to go and learn Japanese. If I can do it, you can do it too, people. Gosh, man, what's my final plug? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just subscribe, people. Subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, cha.